another day at Craving the Curls and another Vlogmas video. So today, Brecken and I are at Craving the Curls. So we're down here making bombs and packaging orders. So I gotta get to work, but here's a look at what's going on today at Craving the Curls. Holiday craze. Two things are actually happening this coming weekend. It is our final weekend of the season and it is all of the pickup of all of the hot cocoa bombs for everybody's Christmas. We have tons of pre-orders to get together. We have hundreds, literally hundreds of cocoa bombs that we have to make today and tomorrow. So you're gonna get to see behind the scenes what we're doing today at Craving the Curls. This is a whole something. This is the holiday push. This is when things get crazy. We've been taking pre-orders for cocoa bombs for several weeks and everybody's picking them up this weekend. Some people are actually coming in today and tomorrow. So we're down here making bombs and packaging orders and the whole thing. But this is gonna be a two part video because I'm gonna film this weekend, closing weekend at Craving the Curls and so you can kind of share goodbye with us as we shut down for the winter and then we open back up in March. So I gotta get to work, but here's a look at what's going on today at Craving the Curls. Holiday craze. I spent eight hours yesterday making these little chocolate molds. And that's one secret I'm not gonna share because it is a secret. It is taking me two years to perfect these molds and I did, I spent eight hours yesterday making chocolate molds. So Brecken's packing up orders and I went outside to check our mailbox. Y'all, I have two Christmas cards in the mailbox at Craving the Curls from you all. So I'm gonna open them now. I have one from Jill in San Diego, California. Y'all are so sweet. Oh my goodness, let's see what this is. Happy holidays to Randy, Renee, Kendall, Brecken, boyfriends, and employees. Oh, so sweet. Jill, you thought of everybody. But she wished us Merry Christmas and saying that she knows I don't like the cold, but just picture that I can come into a big roaring fire. And Merry Christmas to Pollux and Maxie. Thank you so much, Jill. And then this one is a big old fat card, and it is from New York. Look, it got a reindeer on it. Such a sweet little card with something inside. Oh, oh my goodness, this is from Donna in New York. Dearest Renee, Randy, Kendall, Brecken, Maxie, and Pollux. <laughs> I just love y'all, y'all are the sweetest. May your holidays be filled with happy moments and sweet memories. Oh, Donna and family. Thank you so much, Donna. This is beautiful. And you know, I absolutely love green. Oh, it's a kit. It's not a bracelet. Brecken. It is a candle cuff. Oh, you hanging around a candle or a lamp or a jar and it decorates your candle. Well, that is so cute. I have never seen that. I will have to go home and put this on a candle. So, so thoughtful. Thank you so much, Donna. Oh my gosh, y'all are so sweet. I love getting things from you all and you're so, so, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Detective-ish. You found out my dress at Craig and the Curls in downtown Paducah, which is super simple to do, and you sent me Christmas cards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Now I gotta get back to work. B and I got some orders to pack up. All right, what you got going on? Boxes and boxes and boxes and things. Thank you. 
So we're calling it quits for the day. We have done 160 bombs, I think, today. Filled, sealed, drizzled, and all put up. And tomorrow we get to come back, package up orders, and get ready for the shop to open. But that's what we're doing. It's Christmas season. And this is what's gonna happen. I learned this last year. All the people who did not pre-order are gonna come in here in a panic wanting cocoa bombs. I'm trying to be prepared to have large quantities of all of the flavors available for all the people that are gonna come in wanting bombs for Christmas and to give them as gifts. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, but that's what we're doing. Big Girl and I have been here all day. We're done, we're gonna go home. Actually, we're not going home. We gotta stop at the grocery. We'll be back at Craving the Curls tomorrow to finish up and be ready for a closing weekend. Awesome. So we're here again, day two, and tomorrow is the start of closing weekend. Bracken and I are at the shop again, finishing up cocoa bombs, packaging orders. I have several people coming today but I wanna show you what's going on outside right now. It is pouring down rain. No good, no good. The weather forecast is calling for rain all day today, Friday and Saturday. Rain is not good for ice cream. Nobody wants to come out in the rain and get ice cream. It's just, it's just a fact. So that's not really too good for us on closing weekend. But fingers crossed, maybe it'll pass. Brecken and I are, are finishing the day today. We're gonna package orders and I'm gonna show you once we get finished today, what all we've done and how prepared we are for closing weekend. I gotta give a huge shout out to my mama for helping me put together all of our little boxes. You know, my mom has been sick. She had to go through chemo and she's feeling better, but she just sits around the house. I mean, you know, there's not a whole lot she can go do at this point. So I took all of my boxes and stickers that I designed that go on the front of the box and the back of the box with instructions. I took all of the boxes over to my mom and for like two weeks, she just sat there in her chair watching TV and putting together boxes and putting the cupcake liners inside and st putting the stickers on all the boxes. And she did hundreds and hundreds of these for me. And then also we have the little single bomb boxes that she put together too with the stickers. And she cut all of our 
ribbons that we use to tie around the boxes. And so she helped me tremendously. She got all that stuff ready and put together. So I just had to bring it in the shop and put it under the table for use. So this is what a little four pack looks like. I just packaged these up. So you got your stickers, your bow, so cute. And then they're ready to be picked up this weekend. So thank you, mom. Also, since my mom, um, had chemo, I got her on my YouTube channel because she knew I was doing a YouTube channel, but you know, that didn't really mean anything to her. So I got her all set up on her smart TV, showed her how to get on YouTube, showed her how to get on my YouTube channel. And so pretty much every day she watches my newest YouTube video. So I'm not gonna tell her that I mentioned her in today's video and we'll just see if she brings it up to me. That way I'll know if she's watching my videos. Back to work, more bombs to pack. Hey Patty, from Michigan, we're packaging your order right now. Actually, Brickens packaging your order right now. So this is all of our pre-orders that are being picked up this weekend. Ready to go, all of our little kitty, 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 kitty boxes. So all the orders are filled for the weekend. Thank you to everybody that pre-ordered. Oh my goodness, that helps us so much. And then now we're gonna count how many bombs of each flavor we have for this weekend. And it is first come, first serve. Somebody could walk in as soon as we open the doors on Friday and buy like all of one flavor or buy half of everything we have, you just don't know what to expect. And last year that actually happened. A lady came down from um, somewhere in Illinois, walked in the door and bought 200 bombs and sold us out within minutes, literally on a Friday. And we had no bombs for the weekend. So I've tried to advertise on social media, like pre-order, pre-order, be prepared. Whatever we have on closing weekend is, is all we have. And what's left is all I could get made. That's it. So we're gonna see what numbers Brecken comes up with here in a second. 218. 218? Yep. 218 bombs is what she came up with. Yeah. Oh, we only have two peppermint but we have plenty of white peppermint. Mm -hmm. Okay, 218 bombs and we're sold out. And that's the way I like it. I would love to sell out and just end the weekend on a high note, y'all. 218, that's our goal. 
when I do the next video about closing weekend here at Craving the Curls, I'll tell you if we sold out of 218 bombs or what's left. So I think we're ready for closing weekend at Craving the Curls. We're stocked in cocoa bombs. All the pre-orders are ready. We're doing, I'm not gonna tell you what we're doing. Our flavor of the week for closing weekend is something very special. So you're gonna have to watch my next video to find out. But I'm gonna clean and get ready and Brecken and I are gonna go home. And I'll see you tomorrow in another Vlogmas video.